What up guys, welcome to another video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully this video helps you find the best exhaust system for your car. I realized a couple things, so I'll lay into it in the video in a little bit. But before we get started, if you guys are new here, this might be a new thing, but I've been working on something for a while and it's finally right here. The very first Baja Mist detail spray off, spin off of my favorite drink, Baja Blast to Taco Bell. It comes with a black microfiber. I'm so excited about this. I'm throwing in the rag for free. I got a bunch for you guys. Pre-order karmaspeed.com. Go check it out. Snag a shirt while you're at it. I just dropped the price a little bit. Karmaspeed.com. This stuff makes your paint look bomb. And it's completely done after the Baja Blast. That's my favorite drink and I love Taco Bell. So I know a lot of you guys do too. A lot of you guys reached out so I appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy this episode and uh, let's do some exhaust. We are changing up the exhaust on the 350Z. I've been driving it around with test pipes that look like this that are in place of the stock catalytic converters. Louder, it looks like they might have some sort of high flow cat, but honestly, way too loud for my taste. And now that I'm dailying this car while the Subaru engine is gonna get built, it's just miserable. I've had Trevor's uh, custom exhaust on with just a single muffler, and even with it being a quieter setup that's more restricted, it's still too loud. So what I'm gonna do is I just picked up some stock cats from a guy online and then get my Tomei back from Trevor and the car will be sounding good and it'll be much quieter. The stock cats um, restrict a ton of sound. So that's what I'm after. I never thought I'd say this in my life, but I'm actually trying to go way quieter. In this large mess are the test pipes since last night to all this morning, I've been wrenching on these things, trying to get these rusted oxygen sensors off, O2 sensors, miserable. I went and rented the sockets from O'Reilly Auto Parts and if you didn't know, you can go to O'Reilly Auto Parts like if you need to get your brake rotors off if they're rusted on. They have specialty tools for that, specialty tools for oxygen sensors. You go there and say, hey, do you have the tool for this, this, or this? Or show me your sheet of all your specialty tools. Like this socket kit was $29.99. You pay $30 up front and you bring it back and as long as everything's there, they give you your full $29.99 back. It's pretty rad, so if you don't have money to buy specialty tools like me right now, then you just go there and kind of borrow there. So as long as you have the money up front, you're good. And if you don't bring it back, you just get to keep it. So those still did not work. They kept slipping. It has nothing to do with the tool. It's just these things are just so rusted on, it cannot grab, and they're weak. So I'm kind of bumming because new oxygen sensors are $170. One is $100, the other one is $70. There's a left and right side and I'm bumming because that is so lame. I don't want to buy oxygen sensors and put more money into stupid things on this car, but it is what it is. That's what I get for buying an older, like 2003 car that's rusted on the bottom. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw the GoPro on and put the stock cats back on to make sure everything fits right and uh, gets put in place before I go spend $170 on oxygen sensors and then find out that these cats don't work or something like that with the uh, new oxygen sensors. Maybe there's a thread issue or something like that. I'm gonna spray all the bolts down and get everything lubed up so it should slide on. Bom dia, mais um dia maravilhoso e nessa terra. Bom.
maravilloso en esa teja. This is Tire Shine, the Ultra Shine that I sell on KarmaSpeed.com. Diluted it with um, like three quarter water. No, like an eighth Tire Shine, the rest water. Perfect glue. That's how yours is. What? That's how yours is. Sure, start it up again. It's literally exactly how yours is. It's quiet in here. It's still loud. It's nice in here. Yours is louder. No. I think it's your intake manifold. Oh, probably, huh? I think it was just, uh, I think my radiator is just leaking. I think that's what that liquid was. Trevor, do you mind moving here so I can get out real quick? Please? Always check your oil. Before we sound check it, I actually have Randall, you guys saw him in the previous AC video. We're gonna recharge the AC on this. Look like Randall, what up? What's going on? It's too hot out here. That is. Thanks for coming by. Randall's hitting the front of the radiator, which is the condenser part, you said, yeah? Yeah. And this stuff pulls all the dirt and grime and 
We'll wheel anything on the road out. And then we're gonna power wash it. And hopefully that should free up some air and help this AC work a little better. Mmm. It's like nine bucks a can, I think. Oh, wow. That paint code to my truck, which my paint's faded. Thank you. Oh, God. Yeah, Randall, thanks so much. Got no the AC problem. working good. If they want to get their AC worked on in this hot heat, how do they find you? Definitely hit me up. Uh, text me, 602-396-3868. I'm local here in the Tempe, Chandler Gilbert area. Uh, they can, you can recharge, full AC system fix. Do it all. Yep. Do it all. Mm -hmm. Anything you need AC. Absolutely. Thanks, Randall. Catch yep. you later. Take care. Thanks, man. AC pumping. About to go to dinner with my mom. See how this exhaust sounds. Already way more peaceful in here. I need to figure out my washer tank and get that off. Seat belts, I cut them so I thought I was installing harnesses. I mean, uh, new seats, and I had to cut it. Drove with Trevor's exhaust for probably over a month, and it's smaller piping, uh, dual exit, not very uh, straight out, and it got rid of all the pops and bangs. So that's the good thing about the Tome. But man, those test pipes are so much. They have so much resonance, if that's even a word, because it just vibrates the cab. It's loud on the freeway. No matter what cab back you have, the original uh, rep. NVIDIA cat back I had test pipes cat back with the two mufflers in the back and it was still just like oh like so annoying I can already tell this is much better and Trevor saying it was still pretty loud but it, all the volume is at the back so that's what's up and uh, see how it is when we get up to speed a little bit I'm gonna roll the windows down even though it's 100 and something degrees out right now super loud in the cab it's a great tone so I'll leave a link where you guys can find a Tome they hopefully they're available right now because sometimes they aren't and uh, don't forget about karmaspeed.com we got the Baja Mist uh, hope you guys love it pre-order it only ordering a certain quantity also uh, I want to ask you guys uh, anyone from experience had their transmission get kind of real loud and noisy um, especially on the freeway and at high speeds and six gear I've noticed my transmission at 180,000 miles, I'm assuming it's just worn out or the fluid's low or something, it's just gotten really noisy. If anyone's had that issue, please reach out in the comment let me know if you guys fixed it and how you did. Um, I'd love to get that fixed soon, I haven't called anybody yet, so if you guys know, please hit me up because I'd love to hear from you guys first. But uh, yeah, if you guys are looking to do your exhaust, if you're trying to do a streetable drift car, stock headers, stock cats, Tome, any white pipe doesn't matter. That's my favorite setup. But if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and watch the next one on the screen right now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Otherwise, I'm just going to be waiting for you. I'm backing up into my spot, hitting Chipotle for a sec. But uh, why don't you go ahead and watch that next video. I'll be here. Idling. <laughs>